I've just had a thought whether I should wear these sunglasses for all of my fishing. I think it should be like my cap. I never take them off. Everything's a bit pink though. Maybe not. I'll have a Pringle though. So you join me at Burton Springs Fishery, uh, somewhere I haven't been for three years now. Um, I fished the pegs behind me, peg three. I am very pleased I've got the next 24 hours in front of me uh, to fish this beautiful place. I'm on peg four. Um, it kind of fishes the same sort of area up to the island. Um, and yes, so I've come here um, about midday today. Um, and to be honest, I have slacked completely on the filming front. Um, I have been focusing on kind of getting the spots ready for this evening. And yeah, I've luckily already had a couple of fish. So I'll overlay that uh, footage uh, in a few minutes. Uh, so you can see the fish that I've already had, both off the same rod and um, just the corner of the island. I'll go through a bit more detail uh, later. That pretty much brings you up to now. Let's get back to the fishing. Right, so it's an absolute amazing way to start the day. Rods have been out in the water, 20 minutes. And I've got a very, very angry common. Look at that. Really cool fish. Really nice shaped. And an amazing way to start. Let's get a few picks, slipper back. I'll talk you through all the rigs um, and what kind of tactics I'm using for this session. But otherwise, this has made my day already. And I've only been at the lake about an hour. <laughs> Rods have been in the water, like I said, 20 minutes. And I got my first one. Wicked. Right, so my second fish now. Rod's only been out a couple of hours and already my second fish. This beautiful mirror gave me such a big fight. What a beautiful fish. Very long, very powerful, and uh, I am over the moon to catch this one. <laughs> so nice to be out now and having a few. Beautiful weather, beautiful scenery, mega lake. I'm absolutely loving it. Right, so you join me in my bivvy as it is sweltering hot outside um, and I've luckily kind of found a, a little spot in my swim uh, where I can put the bivvy up and it's not in the sun so it's nice and cool uh, as well in my bivvy. That is beside the point as what I'm trying to do is show you um, what rig I am using uh, today and it is the IQD rig I go absolutely everywhere with it and people get very bored uh, of me uh, telling people uh, telling people to use it but I'm confident in it it catches me fish um, so I will carry on using it this one is a size 4 hook um, about 10 inches long um, and today I have got a Baitworks Raw Marine Balance uh, bottom bait if I remember correctly which I pimped up a couple of times people call it the Fluoro D-Rig IQD rig whatever you want um, but it's a fluoro d-rig iq d-rig it's got many names um but this is what i'm using uh, and it's caught me two fish today um so i'll carry on using it and uh, hopefully i'll have a few more this evening like i said um or i probably didn't say um i started off with a rod on this um kind of match the hatch sort of approach um with a darker uh, hook bait um to match the boilies that i'm feeding and another rod on the pineapple from Baitworks, which is a really high attract um, yellow bait. And I go to, that's kind of my go-to tactics uh, for spring and autumn, use yellow baits. And um, because it's very hot and it's summer um, or just end of spring coming into summer, I've decided to swap it up and use a, um, a kind of a darker hook bait. Um, it's done two fish, the pineapple um, hasn't done any. Um, uh, at the moment so I've swapped both rods uh, onto that and hopefully um, I might have a few more this evening. You're probably bored of me rambling on so uh, I'm going to try and cut to a few nice scenic shots 
Um, but otherwise, I'll see, hopefully, see you uh, in, a, in a little while with a fish in my hands. <laughs> Look at that, another really long fish. Fish number three now, off the same rod. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I'm pretty much speechless because uh, this afternoon's been quite quiet and then uh, this out of nowhere slipped up. More than welcome. Let's get a few shots, slip her back. As you've probably seen, um, I have, yeah, I've caught three fish now. The sun's gone in behind the clouds, which hopefully is good because there was a quite a few fish on the surface before. So hopefully, yeah, they've all moved down and uh, I wouldn't mind a grass carp um, because yeah, the first time I came here, I caught quite a few, quite a big one as well. Um, and uh, it's one of the very few lakes that I do fish with them in. So cross fingers uh, for some time this evening or maybe in the night, I catch one. <laughs> right, so um, I've just done an Instagram live and um, a load of people were watching and uh, the rod went off in the background with uh, this beautiful grass carp. First one of the session, and I'm over the moon. It's not, not at all big by any means, but uh, I'm more than happy to get a grassy. Wicked. Let's do a few photos, get it slipped back, and um, I'm looking forward to tonight. Lovely fish. absolutely nothing all night um, it was very dead actually all night didn't really see many show uh, and then this morning I recast the rods I was about to do a bit to camera um, saying it's about bite time now the rod absolutely rips off as I was filming the rods um, and we've got a nice little um, common in the net it is small but to be honest I really don't mind when it's my fifth fish So there we go, my fifth fish now. Not the biggest in the world by all means, uh, but a very angry mint common. So uh, nice to be having some uh, today as well. Hopefully uh, we might be able to carry on and have a few more. Let's get her back. Well, as you can see, it's come to the end of the session. Um, I've still got the rods out in the water, so hopefully we have something. I did just have a run, however, um, the lines got completely tangled. I ended up having to untangle them. Um, and then by the time I did that, the fish had fallen off. So yeah, unfortunately, that's the only fish I've lost this session. Um, but uh, otherwise, yeah, I am off uh, now. I think I've got about half an hour left. Need to get the bivvy down um, and then we'll be shooting off. So. 
just a massive thank you uh, for watching it's been a great uh, couple of days hopefully um, it, I'll be able to show that in this video if you haven't already subscribe to me um, and otherwise I hopefully will see you very soon uh, for another one of my videos cheers all